hello guys and welcome to this new tableau tutorial in this video i'm going to create the following dashboard which is about top 1000 movies by imdb rating as you can see here i'm going to create different charts we're going to start by horizontal bar charts for top 10 movies by total votes and certificates by total movies we have area charts for gross by year and movies by your release year we have word cloud we have box plots and also we have different text sheets which will give us details about each movie but before we start creating our charts let's first explore our data set here we have the imdb movies data set you can find the link in the description to download directly the data set from kaggle and also you can find the second link to download the same data set from my github repository as you can see here the data set contains the top 1000 movies and here we have 16 columns so for the content we have poster link, series title or movie title, release year, certificate, runtime or duration in minutes. We have the genre, the IMDb rating, the overview or description of the movie. We have the mirror score, the director, and the stars. So we have star 1, star 2, star 3, and star 4. So name of the stars, number of votes, and finally we have money earned by that movie. So now let's import our CSV file in Tableau and start creating our charts. Here we have our CSV file. So for the first column, poster link, as you can see, it has a string data type. Same thing for the title. Then we have the release year, which is an integer. For the certificate, string. Runtime or duration in minutes, same thing, string, because it contains minutes, right? We have the genre, which is string data type. The IMDB rating, same thing, an integer. The overview, string same thing for meta score we have integer director string for the stars we have string number of votes we have an integer and finally we have gross which is an integer so you click on sheet one so the first thing that we are going to do is to format right click format and we are going to use the following shading which has the following code so you can write this code right and you will get exactly the same color okay next you click on format workbook and for worksheets bold 8 black for the titles we have 12 black bold for grid lines off zero lines off for axis rulers in black and axis text in black now we are going to create our first horizontal bar chart for top 10 movies by number of votes so drag and drop series title into the rows number of votes into the columns we sort we select our color as black we press ctrl key drag and drop the title into the filters we select top 10 by number of votes apply okay select the entire view right click height field labels we'll name it to top 10 movies by number of votes right okay double click on the axis remove the title we press control key and drag and drop the sum into the label we can even hide the header right double click on the title we put it in the center apply ok right click format to add the border in black and same thing we are going to add the borders for our sheet so we put everything in black black same thing here, row divider, and finally we have the column divider. So like that, we get our horizontal bar chart for top 10 movies by number of votes. Next, we have certificates by total movies. So right click, duplicate. We rename it to certificates, right? By total movies. Okay. So remove everything. Okay. 
which where I can drop certificate into the rows, series title into the columns, and we select the count. We sort, so we remove the null values, right click, exclude, we press control key which where I can drop the count into the label, we right click, hide the header, and like that we get our second horizontal bar chart for certificates by total movies. Next, we are going to create the word cloud for the genera. So, right click, duplicate. We remove everything. We drag and drop the genera into the text. Series title into the size. And we select measure count. We click automatic and we select text. We can even filter the total movies. So press Ctrl key, drag and drop the count into the filters. And for example, we are going to start the count from five up to the maximum. Apply, okay. So we change the title into genre, okay. And like that, we get our word cloud. And just one more thing for the horizontal bar charts. So right click, format for the header the alignment it will be in the center and same thing for the second one so alignment right click format alignment in the center okay now I'm going to create the two area charts right so duplicate this one we remove everything so the first one is total movies by release year. Okay. So drag and drop the release year into the columns. The title into the rows and we select the count. Select automatic. As you can see here we get automatically aligned. But in our case, we are going to select an area chart with color black and opacity of 100%. Okay, so double click on this axis, we remove the title. And we double click on the second one, we remove the title. Right click, hide indicator. So here we have total movies by release year. As you can see here, we can also define the size. So double click, we select fixed from 1920 up to 2020. All right, since we only have one field for the years, so I'm going to use the same field in order to create our second area chart for growth by year. So right click, duplicate. And we select rows by year, right? Okay. So we remove the count and we replace it with the rows. All right. So double click on the axis and we remove the title. And like that, we get our area charts. Next, we are going to create the box plots. So right click, duplicate, remove everything. But as you can see here, we have a lot of genres, right? So if we select the title as count, measure count, we sort that and we select standard, automatic. So you can see here we have a very long list, right? So what we are going to do is that we are going to select the top 10 genera and we are going to create our box plots for the IMDB rating and meta score for the top 10 genres. All right. So we remove everything. We convert the rating into dimension. Same thing for meta score converted to dimension. We drag and drop the genera into the filters. Top, top 10. So we select here series title 
and you select the count. Apply. OK. So press Ctrl key will drag and drop the genera into the columns. We select the entire view. We drag and drop the IMDB rating into the rows. We select the average. So measure. We have here the average. Click on show me and we select box plots. We drag and drop the genera into the columns. We select the entire view. We click on analysis, click on aggregate measures to disaggregate the measures. Close this one. Hide field labels. We double click. We remove the title. We don't want to include zero. Right click. Edit reference lines. We select very dark gray. And for the borders, it will be black black and for the opacity it will be 100 percent okay same thing for circle it will be in black and we decrease the size a little bit all right so we name it we have the imdb rating by top 10 general all right, now we can do the same thing for the second one, which is Metascore. So right click, duplicate. So we remove the IMDB rating and we replace it with Metascore. We select the average, show me, box plots. We select the entire view, right click, Edit reference lines, so we put it dark gray, 100%, we put everything in black, ok, double click, we remove the title and we don't want to include zero. For the color we select black and we decrease the size a little bit, ok, we can just change the title will be meta score okay so like that we get our box plots one thing that we can do is that for example we can drag and drop the release year into the detail and the title into the detail for example for the outliers we can know exactly the title and also the release year for example same thing in here same thing in here we can do the same thing for the second one so we have release year and we have the title now i'm going to create text sheets so right click on genera duplicate so we put it at the end and we name it description okay so we remove everything we drag and drop the overview into the title series title into the filters we select one, apply, OK, show filter, so we remove all and we select single value drop down. We can edit the title, we select only title, OK, for the alignment it will be in the center, right, we click on text and we add description apply ok I'm going to duplicate this one and we create another one for the genera so we rename it genera and we add an S because we have already worksheet named genera ok so remove overview we hide the card we drag and drop the genera into the text same thing, we click on text and here we add general. Apply, OK. Next one is release year, so duplicate, we name it year. We remove general and we add release year. We click, 
and we paste that apply ok next we have the IMDB rating so duplicate we have IMDB rating we copy we remove this one IMDB and we paste that apply ok next we have meta score so duplicate meta score ok we remove we add the meta score text and we paste apply ok duplicate now we have gross we remove we add gross paste apply ok so we can format that put it currency with zero decimal places right next we have number of votes so duplicate have and be vote of votes we remove we add number of votes okay we paste apply okay next we have runtime or duration in minutes so duplicate duration in minutes okay we remove this one we add runtime into text duration in minutes apply okay we add the last one which is the stars okay so we remove this one we add the stars star one star two three and four we click so we paste the title right put it in the center now put them like this apply ok and like that we get our text sheets now we are going to create our dashboard so you click on new dashboard we define the size so we write 1850 and 1050 we click on dashboard format and we add our shading okay so we start by the box plots okay second one in here then we have the area charts the second one in here okay next we have the genera so we put it between the area charts like that then we add the horizontal bar charts right so top 10 movies then certificates in here we add the logo so same thing you can find the link in description to download the logo so fit center apply okay now i'm going to add the text sheets we'll just rearrange the different sheets like that okay this one this one and this one to be like that all right 
we start by the description put it in here so we hide the title and we put the title in here like that we format the title so add the border in black okay now I'm going to add the text sheets so start from the year we put it in here then we have the genera we have the stars duration in minutes and we add the others on the right so we have here the meta score the IMDB rating number of votes and the gross okay so high title height height high title for the filter so apply to worksheet we select all text sheets okay now I'm going to rearrange everything all right just put it small in here same thing in here okay for the title format alignment in the center and now if we select the presentation view we get our final dashboard so as you can see here when we change the title the text sheets will change and will give us the details for each title so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial